of your sensor is very important. We want to make sure that before the sensor is ever used in a patient's mouth, we make sure that we cover it with a barrier. Use a recommended barrier for your sensor. Slide the sensor into the barrier all the way, pushing it all the way to the end of the barrier, making sure that the cable is covered as well. When removing the barrier from the sensor, we want to make sure that you avoid pulling on the cable. Wrap the cable around your arm, hold the sensor, and pinch the barrier off at the top. Using proper disinfectant techniques with our sensors is very important. We want to make sure that you're using a recommended cleaning product such as cavi wipes, pre-moistened towelettes. Recommend following the cleaning directions on the back of the packets. But when wiping down your sensor and cable, make sure that you're wiping towards the sensor head or the sensor connection. A wall-mounted holster is always recommended to store your sensor in. Place the sensor into the holder and wrap the cable around it once to keep the cable from kinking or coiling. There are three technique factors in making sure to get consistent diagnostic radiographs. Barriers and holders, generator settings, and sensor placement. Let's talk about our generator settings. KVP and MA should be set to a constant. It should be set upon installation of your sensors and left. Our exposure time should be adjusted according to our patient size and the area of the mouth that we're exposing. For instance, upper molars require a higher dose. For optimal and consistent image quality, we recommend using a paralleling device. It will provide accuracy when using the sensor and will also provide us with the correct distance between the object and the source. 
We use the standard arm and ring when using our Aim Right adhesive tabs. They provide adaptability in all areas of the mouth, including working around tori and capturing the distal of the third molar. Another option Serona provides is our Aim Right autoclavable holders that grip the sensor for consistent placement in the mouth. For this shot, we're gonna make sure that the tab is placed in the center of the sensor. And make sure that the cord follows the parallel arm. We're gonna place this in the patient's mouth, give the patient a fish hook so that we can see what we're doing, place the sensor between the tongue and the teeth, move the wire to the other side so that we can get a good visibility and see into the patient's mouth. And then right before the patient closes, we're gonna swing the front edge of the sensor toward the middle of the mouth to follow the curve of speed and make sure that we break open the contacts in the bite wing. As the patient's closing to pressure on their back teeth, we're gonna make sure that we put our index finger under the patient's lips and push so that the patient is in centric occlusion. And for every single image, we're gonna make sure that the ring is against the patient's face and that the cone is up against the ring and the cone and the metal arm are parallel. Now we're ready to take our shot. For this shot, the tab is placed directly in the center of the sensor. Scoop the sensor into the patient's mouth, bringing the bite tab up to teeth eight and nine, resting them three quarters of the way out on the edge of the tab. Bring the ring to the patient's nose, have the patient close gently, and if necessary, have the patient support the bar. Bringing the cone in full circumference with the ring.